Hey YouTube, it's Robert back here with another video for you guys and in today's video we're just doing a real quick and easy do-it-yourself project that realistically probably takes less than 30-45 minutes. Uh, we're just hanging a couple of shelves here above a toilet. Um, I picked up these shelves on Amazon for about $22 and these shelves could be used in a variety of locations but they were actually perfect for a bathroom. They even came with a little towel bar here down below. So that's what we're going to be uh, doing today. I'm going to walk you guys through how I did it. It's a pretty quick and easy process so I'll timestamp it. Make sure you guys can skip ahead if some of it's a little bit rudimentary but I also wanted to uh, go into as much detail on even some of the simple stuff because for those of you guys that are complete beginners this is a really easy project for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Robert and I'm here to help with not just small little do-it-yourself projects like this but also giving you some great information for your larger scale remodels so if you like this video and you found it helpful please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me in the future appreciate all your guys support and let's jump right into it. All right, so what we got in the box is these two identical shelves where we've got a wood shelf with a metal railing around the sides and the front. And then uh, what I liked about these is on the back, we've got these four simple screws. So if we ever decided we didn't like this particular shelf color and we wanted to make our own wood shelf, we can still reuse this hardware, which is actually pretty nice hardware for you know $22 Amazon purchase. Now in addition to the two shelves, we also have this separate piece that attaches to one of the shelves so that we can hang towels on the bottom of one of them if we wish. If you don't like that, you don't have to use it, but it did come with. So in addition to the shelves and the towel bar, the only other things to come in the box that we need to worry about are the drywall anchors, the drywall screws, and then these little screws that we're gonna to use to attach the towel bar to that bottom shelf. And that's all that we needed in terms of any of the mounting hardware. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach the towel bar to one of these shelves. I'm gonna set the towel bar back from the front so that if I had it up here, when my towel is actually on it, uh, the, the towel might stick out in front of the shelf a little bit. By setting it back a little, uh, the towel is gonna to be contained underneath the shelf when we're done. And I'm basically gonna eyeball this because you can see there's, there's very little difference in terms of the space on each side of these shelves. So I, I don't feel like I have to have this perfect measurement for that. Um, and I'm gonna use the metal to kind of guide where it is on the back. That's gonna ensure that it's, it's all squared. If you wanted to be extra precise, we could take and just double check that the distance from the metal brackets to the front of the shelf is the same so that we know when we bump the uh, towel bar up against it that we're ending up in the same place but like I said on this you can pretty much eyeball it and here again we could take a little bit of a shortcut and not even worry about drilling our pilot holes through this one of the things I would worry about if drilling a pilot hole is that you make sure you don't drill it too hard or too fast and actually go right through the front and top of your shelf uh, but in this particular case uh, even marking it with pencil um, was just to make sure that I stay on center because I'm actually going to just drive my screws right through without even worrying about drilling the pilot holes first. I'm going to do it slowly so I don't risk overdriving it or splitting the wood, but they're such small screws we're going to get away with it on this particular project. So here you can see we've got the front of the shelf now with the towel bar on the bottom. So this will be the bottom shelf, but we are ready to go ahead and start measuring out where exactly we want to place our shelves. Uh, and then we'll drive our drywall anchors through, get them all screwed up and we'll be done. All right. So one of the first things we're looking at here is where the shelf is going to be placed and what we want for it to, and we, what we want is for it to be centered over the toilet. Now in my particular bathroom, I have about the exact same distance between the metal and the edge of this side of the toilet and the vanity to the edge of this side of the toilet, which is seven inches. But if you're in a situation where there is a little bit of a different distance between those, don't center your shelf on those items. Center your shelf over the toilet. If you center it on the others and it ends up off center with the toilet, it's going to make it look more awkward than if you do have a little bit of a distance between these other items. So it's an over the toilet shelf. Make sure that it's centered over the toilet. Another nice thing is that my toilet is just over 16 inches from one side of the porcelain to the other, not including the handle, but the actual 
body of the toilet tank here. Uh, and the shelf that we purchased is actually just over 16 inches as well. So it's gonna make it relatively easy for me to go ahead and bring it straight up and center it. But I still want to use guides and mark it out before I just start drilling and find that I was a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is, again, using the seven inches that I know my distance is on the metal to the toilet here, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make sure that I'm still seven inches to the edge of my shelf up top. So the next thing we gotta do is figure out how high above our toilet tank we want our first shelf to be. I'm going to be installing my first shelf right at about two feet above the top of the toilet tank. That's gonna keep it away from my wall switch. I'm gonna be just underneath that, but it's also gonna have it at about a third of the distance from the bottom of my vanity mirror. And then my second wall shelf, I'm gonna hang about a third from the top of the vanity mirror. So it's just another way that I'm kind of playing with where my the rest of my bathroom lays out. Uh, and so that's the rationale. Again, this is somewhat subjective, so you can hang it wherever it is that you like it, but I don't suggest you hang it too low uh, and too close to your toilet. Definitely not where it would intrude on you getting your toilet tank lid off. Uh, but in general, I think you wanna have a little bit of space there so you can have your towel hang below uh, and you just keep it away from the toilet a little bit. And I know I said you'd need a tape measure for this job. In my particular case, my level actually has a two foot ruler on it. So I'm gonna use that to both uh, measure and make sure I'm level when I make my marks for my first and second shelf. If you don't have a level with a ruler on it, which most of these do, or you just feel more comfortable using the tape measure, then again, use the tape measure. So I measured from the edge of this metal as opposed to the edge of my shower glass for the purpose of marking it so that I can get my level flat against the wall and I don't have that little bit of a lip. Uh, and from the edge of this Schluter metal, we call it, to the toilet is four inches. So I'm going four inches from there over to mark here. Again, I can do that because this is the same width as the toilet. If yours is different, you're gonna have a little bit more math to do there. So I have my first pencil mark here. That's gonna be where the edge of the shelf is. Note, that is not where I'm drilling my hole for the bracket. That is where the edge of the shelf is gonna be. Then I'm gonna take my level, I'm gonna draw a line all the way across and that's gonna tell me where the top of the actual wood shelf is. I'm gonna put my wood shelf up here, then I'm gonna make two additional pencil marks for the actual holes of the bracket that I'm going to mount this with. So I've got my shelf up here on the wall. I put my level on top of it just to double check that I am still in fact level. I've started it over here where I've got the first pencil mark and it's running along with the pencil line that I drew across the back. So I'm just kind of double and triple checking myself here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark at the top of where the screw hole is gonna be. And I want it to be on the top because that's where the actual um, screw needs to be because the bigger part of the hole is where we're gonna place it through, but it's gonna drop down to actually hang with the screws. So one other tool that's prudent to use here is a stud finder. Now it really becomes more important if I have a shelf that I can hang and the brackets that I mount it to have a little bit more flexibility as, where, as to where they go. So that if I have the option to drill it into a stud and give it more support, I can. In this particular case, my bracket is gonna go where it's gonna go because it's gonna be centered over the toilet and I can't adjust that bracket without adjusting the shelf. So I'm actually hoping that I clear the studs if I wanna just do it real straightforward with my pilot holes. But we're gonna just double check and use our stud finder. I'm pushing the button, start moving along the wall. And you can see it does trigger. I come from the other side, I get nothing. That's why I hate these. So again, I'm moving it. Now it's in a slightly different location. So there's a good chance that there is a stud somewhere right around here. Uh, again, if I do this three, four times at different speeds, I hit it in you know anywhere between about a three quarter inch span here. So that's why I'm gonna start with a drill bit that's just smaller than my actual screw. I don't wanna do it uh, with a drill bit that's bigger for the size of the anchor because just in case I am going to go straight into a stud, I'm drilling at a thickness that's going to work for just my screw. So if I don't end up needing to use the drywall anchor, I haven't made too big of a hole for my screw to bite into the stud itself. 
and I'm not getting anything reading over here. Now I would have thought I might have a stud somewhere right around here uh, for the um, box that this switch is attached to, but that could also be going across uh, because I do have some plumbing down below where the toilet is. So I don't know exactly what I've got behind this wall. But again, I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit that's just smaller than my screw size so that if in fact I am hitting anything down here, uh, I'm not using too big of a hole for me to get the screw to bite onto after. So I've got my drill placed on my first mark. I'm gonna start going through. I do feel like I'm actually getting some, uh, some stud there. And it looks like I do have a little bit of some residue of wood on my drill bit. So I'm gonna start by when I do get to this hole and I drive my uh, screw, I'm gonna start with just the screw and I'm gonna see if I can feel it biting onto the stud. I do the other side and uh, this is gonna also give me a little indication if it feels a little different driving it through this side than the other. And yes, I can definitely feel this side here is hollow. I, I can feel the drill as it clears through the drywall. So I can definitely feel the difference as I drove the drill into the right side versus the left side. The left side, I could feel the moment that the drill passed through the drywall. Whereas on the right side, I could feel it push through and still go solidly into the stud. I can also see a little bit of the wood residue on the end of the drill bit. So that lets me know I should be dealing with a stud on this side. My stud finder did seem to show that there was a stud there, even though it was a little inconsistent. So I'll start by using the screw and see if it continues to bite as I drive that through. If that's the case, then I'll only use a screw on this side and I'll use my drywall anchor on the left side. So as I mentioned, we're gonna test out the right side and just see if we feel the uh, screw bite into the, the stud over here. If it doesn't, as I push it through, it's not gonna have anything else to bite through and I'm gonna feel it get real loose on me. Yep, and it is in fact biting on the stud. Left side, we're gonna need a drywall anchor. And what this is, is it's a little anchor that we actually put our screw through. We're gonna drive this through and the distance from the front of this to our little wings here is about the thickness of the drywall, it's a half of an inch. So as we push this so that the front of this little yellow piece is flush with the front of our wall, those wings just clear the back of the wall. The way that this works is as we tighten it through, we push it through that little hole, and then as we put our screw in, the screw starts to spread open our drywall anchor and we end up with it getting real wide. So that prohibits it from fitting back through that hole and that's how it bites on uh, where we don't have a stud. Our anchor actually grasps the back side of the drywall for us. We're gonna use the same hole that we did our little smaller hole with before. And now I've got a, a big enough hole for me to push that drywall anchor through. All right, and so we have our drywall anchor placed. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, I, I made a, a big enough uh, hole for it. I don't even really need a hammer to do this. I can just take my finger and push it through so that I get the end of it here. Uh, I, I wanna do that before I drill the screw through because I don't want it to start opening up as I'm still trying to push that anchor all the way through. Now that I have it in there, then when I put my screw in, it's gonna open up on the backside and trap that piece. So from there, I'm gonna take my screw, start driving it in, and I wanna leave just enough room that I can catch my shelf over the front of that. I have my screws uh, with just enough space from the wall so that I can place my shelf up above in the larger hole and slide it down, locking it into place. Then we're just gonna use a screwdriver to hand tighten those screws and make sure that we get our uh, bracket as tight as possible so that it's not wobbling on us much, if at all. So we've got our first shelf done. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna repeat the exact same process to hang our second shelf and we're done.
So that's it. If this was your first time trying any kind of a do-it-yourself project, give yourself a pat on the back. If this was your first time hanging shelves, you know, hopefully you didn't find it too difficult. I've found the more projects that I've taken on as I was kind of learning and feeling like I was becoming more and more handy, the more I started to enjoy it and the more confident I've gotten taking on all sorts of different types of projects. And I think one of the really exciting things is when you see how much money you can save on some of these fairly straightforward uh, little fixes around your house versus what you would be paying per hour for a handyman to come out and do the same thing. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button for me. That's always a big help. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future and comment down below with anything that you might like to see me talk about in a future video. Also, if you use this video to put some shelves up today, let me know down in the comments how it went. Let me know if you picked up this exact shelving or something like it. I would love to hear what your experience was like on this. If you have any additional questions or anything that you guys found stumbling blocks on, let me know all that down in the comments below. I really enjoy reading and seeing how these videos have helped you guys. So much appreciate it and until next time, Happy remodeling and have a great day.